The story of this cave starts in 2010 when I started basically stalking the landowner. <laughs> The funny thing is the landowner knew he had this place for a long time and he didn't want any divers in it because he was absolutely convinced it was special. A secret cenote on his ranch that nobody had ever dived and he asked if me and my team would like to dive it. He thought that we were the right people to start to investigate his little cave. And he was absolutely right. That was a little jewel, very different from anything around the area. The first dive into the cenote, I was astounded by the formations and the decorations. It's just fields and fields of the most delicate stalactites and stalagmites. It looks like a forest or a jungle of formations, and it's technically really difficult. It's a very shallow cave, so some people could think it's very easy, but at the same time it's very fragile and there is lots of sediment. You have to be very careful, think about every movement. I'm going to rotate my body like 30 degrees down to the right and then do one kick with my right foot and then flatten out and then do a modified flutter and slide forward. The first thing I'm thinking about is to slow down my breathing to stretch my legs and to go as slow as I can to avoid damaging anything, but at the same time to make enjoying it as long as possible. When Vince and I were invited to document this cave by the new landowner, our first concern really was conservation. How do we film this place without absolutely trashing it? The formations there are very delicate. Sometimes just the water flow is enough to damage them. So a challenge in filming with the, this video was to try to show that, to back off into these really delicate formations without destroying them and get these really wide shots of Vince sort of dancing through the formations. You get maybe one shot. If you're lucky, you can do a second take, but after that, the percolation from the exhaled bubbles that hits the ceiling just drops the viz to nearly zero and it's no longer suitable for filming. It just works out really well with Vince as the model because he's such an extremely excellent diver. You can see he just has absolute control as he moves through these places. The main colors of, the, of this place are some kind of grays and black. And the most characteristic is big contrast between really often the core of the formations, which are black or gray, and the edges that are really white or yellow. So contrasts are amazing in this place, and we don't see that very often. The cave is filled with these long, flat bedding planes with all of these really delicate formations. It creates in some places some kind of temple-like visions with forests of columns. The sediment dunes in the cave really look like pristine south of France Atlantic landscape and they're pretty magic because they look like snow in some places and as long as no divers go there they are still pristine. I believe this cave should not be open to the public because even with very refined techniques, there is always some damage. Every time I go there, I notice that I create some kind of damage. As we breathe out, our bubbles might knock off a really delicate soda straw decoration. Or as we move through a tunnel, the movement of our bodies would just stir up some silt and change the silt dune configurations. So I would like to limit even my own visits and dives there. Probably even Vince and I need to limit our diving here to very special occasions. Because it's so beautiful and fragile that the impact into it would be heartbreaking. Over the years, 
I became really good friends with the landowner and I used to go out there for lunch or for dinner sometimes and hang out with him. The original owner always had the feeling it was a very uh, special place and he unfortunately died a few years ago. So being able to finally go back there and film it and document it with Vince reminds me of these beautiful time in our life when we were just learning to explore caves and the cave is really nostalgic for me. By being invited to still dive there and to be able to document the place, I think we are honoring his memory. <laughs>